welcome back to my new vlog and new learning to know. So first, I will tackle and discuss about audiovisual aids. Okay, that's it. So what are audiovisual aids? So according to Kinder, audiovisual aids are any device which can be used to make the learning more effective, more concrete, more realistic, and more dynamic. So it means that audiovisual aids are devices which are used in classrooms to encourage teaching learning process to be more concrete, more realistic, more dynamic, and make it easier and interesting. So it is the best tool for making teaching more effective and the best dissemination of knowledge. Let's proceed to objectives of, audio, of using audiovisual aids. So first, to increase the effectiveness of the teaching. It means teaching aids helps to increase vocabulary of the students. Second, is to hold the attention span of the learner for the duration of instruction. So a visual aids will not only attract the attention of the learners, but to hold it as long as it appeals to the sense of sight for the duration of instruction. Third is to save time. It means it helps the learner or the teacher to have a time management on it in order for the learners not to be bored and so we need to have a productive use of saving of time second is we we'll learn and retain so why so every individual has the tendency to forget so proper use of teaching is helps to retain more concept permanently so okay as you can see in the graph so here and C is the is 50 percent so okay so 10 percent of what we read so when you read once of course you can understand unless you read it again and, and again unlike that you visualize the object so it's better that you can recall for it so 10 percent of what we read and then second is 20% of what we hear. So, before, the traditional teacher depended too much on verbal expositions. So, the students hear and forget sometimes. So, farther and less, the individual has pragmatic imagination. So, it will be difficult for the individual to visualize objects, the events, however, vivid the verbal description is. So, it is necessary, particularly in science and technology, that knowledge gained by individual is accurate where considerable visualization of objects and process is needed and information of accurate concept is essential. So what we hear is 20%. Third is 30% of what we see. So as a sensory organ, the eye is very highly developed when compared to the other sensory organs. So the human eye could differentiate very minute differences in color and shape. So it is quite natural and the knowledge gained through the sense of sight is more vivid, accurate and permanent. Hence, one sees, one remembers more than 30% of our knowledge is gained through our eyes. And then let's proceed to 50% of what we hear and see. So it should be balanced so that we can retain and recall the learning of audiovisual aids. So higher levels of retention can be achieved through involvement in learning. So the more you have a higher level of retention, the more you can achieve the involvement and learning of audiovisual aids. Let's proceed to 
So one picture worth 10,000 words according to all Chinese proverb. And according to them, they believe that you can talk for 30 minutes on this video. So definition of audiovisual aids. Okay. So educational significance of teaching aids. So first use of all sense organs as well. I have said earlier that there are five senses of organs. So first there is sense of hearing. Second sense of sight. Third is sense of taste. Fourth is sense of touch. Three, four, fifth is sense of smell. Second is based on maxims of teaching. So it means this is help the teacher to follow the maxims of teaching like concrete to abstract, known to known, and learning by doing. So it helps pull and drawing attention. So means it helps for the learners to have good and drawing attention. And then let's proceed to a good motivating force. So audiovisual is matched with the inner urges and seeing basic drives and motives of the students. And those prove a potent motivating force for energizing learners to learn effectively. So let's proceed to is it so a good substitute for direct experience. So audiovisual materials will come to our aid at the time to facilitate understanding of new concepts, facts, and symbols, pictures, models, and specimens. Chatterer is one of the example of substitute for direct experience. To be accurate and effective substitute for direct learning experience. Let's proceed to. In addition to that, it provides clarity in subject matter. It means that audiovisual aids bring clarity to the various difficult and abstract concepts and phenomena related to various subjects. So it helps in fixing up new learning. Why? Because fixing up new learning in audiovisual aids helps to stimulate, motivate, as well as focus learners' attention for a while during the attention for instructional process, which arose the interest of learners and help the teacher to explain the concept easily. And then meet the individual deference requirements. So these are why individual differences among learners. So the use of various types of audiovisual aids help in meeting the requirements of different types of students. So, facilities, quick comprehensions, and retention of concepts. So, it helps attract the comprehension and retention concepts of the learners when they motivate to stimulate that kind of aids or in it should have their facilitator. So, encourages healthy classroom interaction. So, it encourages to have a healthy classroom if you good to have a best a good and body visual aid. Let's proceed to it helps and positive transfer of learning. It, it makes the learners to experience more and have a positive transfer of learning. Okay. Solve the problem verbalism. So why audiovisual aids help to reduce verbalism because verbalism does not prove much effective in the process of teaching and learning. So words are wonderful. They are easily produced, reproduced, stored, and transported. But the overuse for excessive use of words can result in serious problems. 
to the problem of verbal lesson can reduce the verbal lesson significantly in the areas of teaching, learning, research, entertainment, and so on. So we need to resolve that kind of verbalism. So reduce meaningless words means that they supply a concrete basis for conceptual thinking and hence it reduces meaningless word response of students. Let's proceed to quicken the pace of learning. So in audiovisual aids, we need to learn effectively so that it's easy for us to learn and convey the information we gather. So let's learn it fastly as we can. And then, and the last is overcome possible hurdles during teaching. So in order for us to overcome the hurdles of learning, in audio visual aids, so we need to have a good teaching skills and to, and to know more at about. So, characteristic of teaching is so these are the advantages. Advantages. So first is accurate. Second is simple and cheap. Third is motivate the learners. So why? Audiovisual aids are the best motivators. So they present the knowledge in the concrete form by attracting the attention of the students. So, meaningful and purposeful. Next, improvise. Next is we have large insight. So we need to, in teaching in E, so we have to be large by teaching for it. And then let's proceed to comprehensibility. Next is interesting. So what the visual is are effectively generate when you are interested with that audio visual aids like if you visualize pictures, textbooks, and each other. Next is cause of effective and availability. Next is transport ability and appropriateness. And the last is relevance. So it helps to encourage for the learners and teaching learning process to make it easier and relevant when it comes to the use of audiovisual aids. So let's proceed to the problems, limitations, and the use of audiovisual aids. So first, apathy of teachers. Second is indifference of students. Third is financial problems. Fourth is absence of infrastructure and language barriers. And do not replace the teacher. Letters and symbols are illegible. And the last, colors are misused. Let's proceed to explanation. Sa apathy of teachers, it is men rather inertial when it comes to accepting change. And then, a vast majority of teachers still prefer to use the chalk, chalk method through which they were taught. Hence, they are generally change resistant. Next is... And deference of students. So the dishes use of teaching is will arouse interest, but sometimes it can enhance boredom and indifference at a time. So, so there are indifferences of students in order to enhance boredom and indifference at a time. Let's proceed to financial problems. So the one-time investment and this aid is costly and may not be affordable by all schools. So due to financial problems, some schools can provide the aids of teaching due to costly of the aids. 
proceed to the absence of infrastructure. It means that it lacks a basic facilities, classroom, electricity, projectors, charts, stands, laboratory, rooms to keep models like for example, specimens, poster, and each other. So, there are many lack of facilities in the classroom, in electricity, so one of the absence of infrastructure. Let's proceed to language barriers. So most software is in English like film, series, audio cassette has not suitable to regional medium schools. So the not replace the teachers, so one of the language barriers. The third one is letters and symbols are illegible. Next, next is colors are misused as the law. So those are the language barriers. Let's proceed to require more time for planning preparation. So it, it takes time to have or to prepare a planning. And times the teachers don't air down the subject. So and few is require source for fixation, electrical, sockets, and electricity. So the one is using should know the operation and principle. Let's proceed to the classifications of audio visual aids. So first traditional type of classification. Second is classification based on types of projection. Third is classification based on motion. Fourth is classification based on dimensions of objects. And teaching is based on size of media. And the last is we have teaching is based on the numbers of sense organs used. So first is traditional, so there are three traditional type of classification. So first, audio aids. Second is visual aids. Third is audio visual aids. So let's discuss what is the meaning of this. So first, audio aids. So when we talk about that, it means it involves the sense of hearing. Example, sample for this is radio, tape recorder, mic, CDAs, microphone, dectaphone, headphone, gramophone, and the last is megaphone. So here is the picture of the examples of audio aids. So here it goes. And then the second one is visual aids. So what is it all about? So when we talk about visual aids, it means that it is used for vision. For example, for example is chalkboard, bulletin board, chart, drawings, posters, pictures, exhibits, flashcards, planner boards, illustrated books, albums, track book, magnetic board, Maps, graphs, photographs, OHP, magic lantern, a pedoscope, model slides, and the last is silent film, so, and each other. So, there are so many types of visual aids or example. So, here is the picture of blackboard, magnetic board, planner board, notice board, bulletin board. Another example, another visualized picture. Like illustrated books, posters, and exhibits. Another is flashcards, flip charts, graphs, and charts. Another photographs, pictures, magic lantern, a pedoscope, and overhead projector. Another, the last, slides and slide projector, globe, and the last is specimen. So that is the example of, of visual aids. 
And the last is audio visual aids. When we talk about that, it is are those instructional devices that may be used by a teacher or a communicator in order to facilitate better understanding on the part of learners by involving their main senses, particularly those in relating to seeing and hearing. So the example for this is lecture, demonstration, television, films, computers, videotapes, BCDs, DVDs, and LCDs. So here is the picture. So demonstration is one of the example of audiovisual aids. Lecture also is one of the example. Let's see this. So demonstration is one of the use for teachers. Let's proceed to television. So in order to visualize, so we need to look at the television, the computer, the files, the DVD, the 3D animated pictures. So in order for us to particularly seeing and hearing we use both audio visual aids let's proceed to base and type of projection or project is projecting visual on the screen when we talk about projected visual aids means a picture shown upon a screen by the use of a certain type of machine like for example um, silent motion picture, film strips, magic lanterns, micro projections, light projection, opaque and overhead projector is one of the examples of projection of projected visual aids in order for us to picture out the different pictures of a visual aids of a projected visual aid. So here it goes. So this is so you can see, so lecture show, overhead projector, and so many others. Let's proceed to non-projected A's. So what is this all about? So non-projected visual A's can translate abstract ideas into a more realistic format. They allow instruction to move down from the from the level of verbal symbols into a more concrete level so the following examples are this different types of boards and display display material photographs posters maps and graphs and charts models specimens and the last is books and illustration so here is the picture of example of non-projected aids so display material so this is so these are the projected materials examples pictures out and then photograph so here is so you can see the girl who to take a picture so more any young results a young picture out na pictures and then let's proceed to posters so posters are graphic is with short quick and typical message so it attention capturing painting so my poster different type of poster let's proceed to map of the world type of graph the one of the examples of non-projected visual aids specimens also one of the examples books and illustration is one of the examples of non-projected visual aid let's proceed to base and motion or movement so it's divided into two so there are sta 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 static aids and dynamic is so what are static is so it means that it is those used in classroom teaching which do not move example shards flashcards masapana slides ohp and each other so ang static so much of statua she cannot move like mga shards like in ana let's proceed to yeah. Monisha, example just a chart so Monisha. Mona statistic, flashcards, and 
slides. Ana, slide. HP like that. Cannot move. The plastic. Let's proceed to dynamic A's. When we talk about that, it is those A's in which visual or parts which are capa capable of being made to move by mechanical principles. Examples are working models, motion pictures, Television, computers, and each other. So, when you talk about that, so, muna siya nag-visual. So, so can, can be moved by, mas, by mechanical principles. So, maps, example, and then pictographs, like that. And, based on dimension of object divided into three into two to three dimensional A's so what are those so first one is in this A is only two dimensions example width and height are only visible examples are charts are graphs maps pictographs Boards of different types. Each other. So, here it goes. Yung siyang my examples. Back to graphs. Next is we have... So, next is... Let's proceed to 3DS. What are 3DS? So, it is dimensional screen. Or it is... As it is one of the file formats used by the Autodesk 3D Mass 3D modeling animation and rendering software. So, in this is all the three dimensions of length, breadth, and height are visible. Example models, globes, objects, mock ups specimens and puppets so here is the pictures of 3ds so man siyang objects mock-ups so based on size of media so there are two types first is big media so it includes computer is one of the best and the big media Television, a little medium. We talk about like a small use of media like radio, film strip, graphics, audio cassettes, and each other. So, mo niya example, mo niya ang computer, big media ba niya? Let's proceed to television. Also, big media po niya. Let's proceed to radio. Little media na niya ang cassettes. It's one of the little media. And the last is film speed is one of the little media. Graphic design is also for example of little media. And then based on the number of sense organs used, so there are two types. So first, unimodal and bimodal. So that is the two types of base number of sense organs, unimodal and bimodal is. So what are unimodal? When we talk about that, it is those in which only one type of sense, either sight or auditory, are used. Example, audio aids or visual aids. When you talk about bimodal, it is those in which bother scenes in each... When you talk about bimodal, it is those in which both the sense can be used. Organs, visual, auditory are used. For example, and this auditory is so you can um, talk about auditory, so it's used for audio like tape recorders, microphones, amplifiers, or earphones. Order for you to hear. So, what this is the example of katong by modal. So, example of this is PowerPoint presentation. So, as what I have do today, that I will do PowerPoint presentation and I present my discussion, then I visualize my topic, and that's what I do. So, one of these, so, 
what will I do is the example of types of visual audio aids. So this is the example of audio visual aids. Okay, bangan ko. Okay, bangan ko da. It could be classified as electronic or non-electronic. So when you talk about non-electric, it means so there are two types of audiovisual aids. So electric and non-electric. So when you talk about non-electric, it is an old-fashioned or not to use by an electricity or not operated. Example for this is book. So this is non-electric. Second is handouts. Third is shock and board. Next is mannequins. Models. Fail chart. So one of the examples of non-electric. So when we talk about electric, is it is when we talk about electric is operated by an electricity or it is used by the flow of conductors. Example for this is overhead projector, slide projector, and the last is. Computers, one of the big, big use for electric, for electric. Then let's proceed to the last. So that is an example of non-electric. The books, the handouts, the chalk and board. The mannequins is one of the example of non-electric. Model is one of the example also for non-electric flowcharts. That chart is one of the example of non-electric. It will not be used by electricity. Let's proceed to the steps. So, kung natama yan. So, first is planning. Second is preparation. The third is presentation. And evaluation. Okay, so steps. No sabdan na. So there are five steps of planning. So first is the planning track. Planning. So when we talk about planning, we have to know clearly the objectives of the presentation in order for us to have a good, clear, and easy productive use. So plan well in advance so that we can make framing or each other. So job to be planned and so on. So anticipate the problem. So in order to anticipate the problem, so you have to first to be planned more. Anticipate the size of the audience. So think about the quality of material to be used and the less appropriateness to the subject. And the last is availability of facilities for it as. Last for the planning is manner in which it is to be used. Let's presume on it. So, magplan mo na ka. So, here is the visualized pictures of planning. So, masot sa calendar. So, what would you do today? So, how you have a good preparation during your presentation in audiovisual aids. Let's proceed to preparations. So always be prepared to use in that proper use of preparation. So select the con convenient and comfortable place setting arrangement mass which is the ball. The last is make sure that all the equipment are in working order before presentation. So you have to make sure that all the equipment is that you have all you have to do is to prepare it. For third is prepare by rehearsing to make smooth presentation. So in order to have a smooth presentation, you have to prepare it all. So preparation is the key. And let's proceed to presentation check. So motivate the audience and stress key points to be observed during the presentation. Next, the second one is present is a right moment in a proper sequence. Let's proceed to display only one aid at a time. Let's proceed to remove all unrelated material. So. Para wala rin siya sa mong, so remove ang wala yung mga gamit na materials. Let's proceed to stand beside the aid 
not in front of it of it so when you're preparing the presentation so you have to stand in front do not do not beside it but you have to stay it in front so this is what we do so presentation so she do or uh, nasha sa beside and then the audience are so very interesting topic the audience will be heard of what the, of what the presentation do Let's proceed to the evaluation. So by providing discussion and feedback, evaluate the effectiveness of an audio-visual aid and the lecture. So, evaluate na ka sa imong mga audio-visual aid. Let's proceed to principles. So, check principles of selection, check principles of preparation, check Principles of physical control, check, proper presentation, check, principles of response, check, principles of evaluation. So, in order for us to do so, let's make sure that you have to do this kinds of principles. So, there are six kinds of principles. So, that is, so let's proceed to... Principles. Let's proceed to the audio visual aids. So, so first select the correct aid so that you have a good quality in choosing audio visual aids and it is clear tools for teaching learning process that helps the teacher to present the lesson effectively and students learn and retain the concepts for better duration of time. Second is you have to prepare the prior instruction so you have to prepare the prior prior instruction so that it's easily for you to learn when the third is be familiar with the equipment so you need to familiar familiarize yourself with the audiovisual equipment by doing a test run too if you're planning to streaming any video Take check ahead of time that there is connectivity to support with it. So know how to use the aids. So as what I have said, that it's better for you to know the use for the audiovisual aids. Let's proceed to make sure all students can see and hear the aid. So the teacher will make sure that their students can see and hear because it is the tool to make the lesson clearer or easier to hear and understand so the teacher will check the effects for it the proper use of such teaching is but has not kept them or has not to become acquainted with them so we need the teacher to hear the students for sure so check for effect on the class so nowadays, teachers use various audio visual aids to facilitate their students when it helps to provide different types of aids in a better and effective communication. So the teacher need to check the effect of the class. So practice using different type of aids. So the teacher need to have a good proper uh, ways of using different types of aids in order to have a better and effective communication in teaching. Let's proceed to be flexible. So we need to be flexible in order the learners can engage knowledge in using visual aids as what I have said earlier that select the best appropriate teaching and training in audio visual aids. Let's proceed to select an audio visual aid that is appropriate for teaching and the training. So, in order for you to have to select the proper teaching of visual aids. And the last, it end. So, objectives. So, the last is objectives. Where the goal of audio aids is to enhance teachers' ability to present the lesson in simple, effective, 
and AC to understand for the students. So audio visual aids, materials make learning more permanent since students use more than one sense. So that would be all. Thank you. So thank you for watching everyone. God bless.